Hey friends, it's Amanda Bobbitt here with Healthy Hydration Home Services and the best hydrogen water. And we're very excited. It's our first podcast and I have the honor and privilege of bringing to you an author. Not only is Bob Centenary an author, he's going to go through his whole background with you and, and show you a little bit of his background, kind of the vision of where he's going in the future with hydrogen and just, we are so honored to have him. So thank you, Bob, for being with us today. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you uh, having me, giving me the opportunity to uh, interview. Yes. And you know, I've been in the water profession now for almost 13 years, helping people all around the world. And one thing I've noticed is nobody really knows what hydrogen is. And so what I love so much about your book is that you broke it down so everybody can understand it. And it's my belief that a lot of people don't know about it because it's so scientific that no one's taken the time to really break it down to just easy terminology. And so going through the book several times now, I'm so excited to ask you some questions. So I thought first we'd start a little bit with your background. Uh, high school and really got it more and more interested in, in uh, <clears throat> uh, biology, majored in biology, got awards and dean's list and all that kind of stuff so i really was proud of that and then graduated there went into college and got a master's degree one degree was in uh, uh advanced degree in microbiology one in immunology and later i gravitated toward working with a pharmaceutical company and doing scientific research in human cells i bring my sleeping bags into the lab and and make sure that those cells were growing just right for days and days, even months on end, every, you know, went into the wee hours of the morning, well, all night long. So I was very fortunate of doing that. And I made films. I made films on the immune system that won about 34 international awards, translated in eight, language, eight languages and distributed in 80 countries. So I was really happy about that and very proud to get that out, information out to the, to the world. So from then, I started studying hydrogen. It's a natural gravitation because I was so interested in that. And I was hired by a company that was in my own business by that, uh, by that point and became a consultant. And the company hired me to do research on their hydrogenized water. So I did that. That's got, got me more background. And I did a review article with a Nobel Prize nominee and, and that got published. So I have a literally total of 64 publications, four of which were uh, on hydrogen. And so that got me up to this point where I got, had to get the information out. It was a burning desire to get the information out and, and share it with the world about the wonders, the health benefits of hydrogen. And there are many. Yes, there is. Wow. Thank you for that introduction. It's kind of like me when I, I started in my parents' garden center. So my parents have a 10,000 square foot garden center called Beaver Park, and I used to work there. Wow. And before the hydrogen water, I was clinically obese. I had mercury poisoning, adrenal fatigue, and no female cycle for eight years. Wow. And so I did what most people do is they go to the doctor, they get a pill for their symptom, and then I'd fire that doctor because it wouldn't help, and then <laughs> kept going. And so finally, my grandfather heard about, it was um, an, an alkaline hydrogen water machine at the time, but um, my grandpa bought this machine. And because of that, I was like, well, if grandpa's got one. My parents like, well, I, we all got them. Started drinking the water at the store. And our customers are like, all right, you have more energy. You're losing weight. Your skin's glowing. We want to know what it is. Uh -huh. I said, I think it's this water. And they said, I want to try it. And the first month and a half, I allowed people to come to the store and get the water. We had over 50 people coming in. They started sharing with us, hey, my arthritis is going away. My headaches seem to be gone. My and I'm like, okay, I think it's the water. And so that's when I made it my mission and passion. I wanted to help people with physical pain and financial pain. And so I spent a long time in uh, a different company, but now we have our own company and our own products. And so we're excited like you to share true health around the world through hydrogen because it's just nobody really knows about it. Fantastic. Sounds terrific. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about some of the studies that you did. Um, I know in the book, you talked about some colleagues of yours, did some studies on diabetes. So maybe you can get in a little bit to what you actually saw that made you so excited. Okay, well, the, the hands-on research that uh, my colleagues and I have done were in 
four major characters. One, one category was antioxidant. The second was glucose. The third was anti-aging effects. Mm -hmm. And the fourth was uh, uh, brain health. So those four areas, we found several different parameters of, of what happens with uh, hydrogen as an antioxidant. And this is phenomenal because hydrogen is a selective antioxidant. That means it only goes after the very bad uh, free radicals, which are which cause oxidative stress or damage to cells and tissues and organs. And it, it goes after those, quenches those or neutralizes those very bad uh, oxidants or free radicals, and it leaves the good guys alone. There are some free radicals that you need uh, for making energy. The mitochondria makes energy. So some you need, so it leaves those alone and only goes after the bad guys. In fact, the most horrific free radical is called the hydroxyl radical, OH. And what when it comes in contact with hydrogen, guess what? Hydrogen turns the most toxic free radicals, OH, into H2O. Can you imagine that? How great is that? Turning a poison into healthy water. That, when I read about that, Dr. Otis' uh, first uh, article on two, in 2007 in Nature's Medicine, he mentioned that, and I was just enamored. I read that article four or five times because it was so fascinating uh, as uh, hydrogen being a selective antioxidant, very important. As far as uh, glucose is concerned, we found out that hydrogen will minimize the uptake in the intestines through intestinal cells, minimize the uptake of glucose. Some glucose is good, a little is okay, but too much causes all kinds of problems, pre-diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and full-blown diabetes. So we want to help, help control that glucose and not take too much. So hydrogen helps with, with controlling that. And all, and there's also these uh, insulin receptors. Insulin controls glucose. And these receptor sites on the skin of the cell, the cell membrane, uh, they're little um, markers. And when we added hydrogen to those cells, it activated those insulin receptors, making them more powerful, more, more productive, more influential to control glucose. So that was a, a number two observation. And then anti-aging effects were, were spectacular. We found this um, other biomarker inside cells. Biomarker is like a little identifier. And this SIRT1, CERT1, in, in high levels, shows the, the actual uh, reduction of aging of the cells. And it, it, it adds to the youthfulness of the cell. So the hydrogen increased CERT1. And it also increased the, the telomeres, which are the ends of the chromosomes that help with uh, young cells becoming uh, um, vibrant, vital, and energetic. And the longer those telomeres, the, the, the younger the cell. So aging. And then in brain health, we looked at uh, glutamate toxicity. It's another very powerful poison that disrupts the brain, causing all kinds of damage. We, we noticed that hydrogen improved uh, or decreased that glutamate toxicity. And glutathione, number two in, the, in brain cells, glutathione is one of the most powerful antioxidants known to man. It's made by the cells themselves. Well, hydrogen helps increase the glutathione levels within human cells. So that's basically the research that I did. But Amanda, check this out. This is this is extraordinarily fascinating. There are over two thousand studies, two thousand studies on hydrogen in one hundred and seventy disease or, or different disease conditions. That is mind boggling. No other mm -hmm. molecule in the world can do that, and uh, it's gaining more and more claim to fame. You know, wow, that is incredible. Where would someone go to find some of those studies? Okay, good question. Uh, you can find them, you can search on Google Scholar, mm -hmm. PubMed, PubMed Research, or maybe even Google, you can type in, let's say you're interested in, it's almost any condition, let's say arthritis, type in arthritis, 
and height molecular hydrogen or H2. And you will see hundreds of studies and you can read them. They're pretty technical, but you can, after just scanning a few, you will see the preponderance of evidence showing study after study over and over on all kinds of disease conditions from, oh, geez, cancer to, to brain health, uh, you know, Alzheimer's to Parkinson's to osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, burns, surgery, uh, radiation therapy, reducing the adverse of chemotherapy, all, all enhanced or treated positively with hydrogen. So it's a spectacular molecule. I just had to get the word out by writing this book and getting it to as many people as possible, like you do in, in your uh, with your uh, devices and in, in, in products. Absolutely. So let's go back to the selective antioxidant. You know, I think you did a really good job explaining it, but just to kind of put it apples to apples here. So like with vitamin C, for instance, explain how vitamin C would work differently than the hydrogen in the body, not being a selective antioxidant. Yes. Okay. So vitamin C is a very good antioxidant. There are many others too, but they work outside the cell. They work to kind of quench uh, free radicals around the cell or floating around, but they don't go inside a cell. Hydrogen being the smallest molecule in the universe can get into the body, into the cell, the skin of the cell, through that cell, into the interior of the cell, into the nucleus, and even into the DNA. Wow. So no other molecule can do that in the world, only mm -hmm. hydrogen. So we're looking at treatment from the exterior around in, a, in the blood system and the interior inside the cell. That is a, a, a powerful antioxidant and being selective where inside the cell, it goes after those toxic. Yeah, very toxic free, free radicals, OH, and there's another one, a whole bunch of others, but I, I don't want to get too technical. <laughs> yes, and a lot of our viewers, you know, um, they might not be aware of what an oxidant is or an antioxidant. So can you explain like where are these free radicals or toxins are coming from and how they get into our body? Yeah, let's take a look at oxidation in general. Oxidation is uh, it's also called oxidative stress, free radical damage, which, which bottom line, it causes damage to the cells. The cells are everything. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs. Organs make up systems. And systems make up the entire body. So as you can see, everything is stems from the cell itself, the basic unit of life. So what we want to do is find out what are the causes of the damage to cells. And which also damage tissues, organs, systems, and so on. So let's let's take one pollution. You know, the water we drink, some of the water, the food that we eat, and the air that we breathe, you know, is contaminated. There's stuff coming from the you know pollution pollutants, J, JP3 fuel and jets fly over. There's a lot of toxins in the environment, and they cause oxidative damage, oxidative stress, killing cells, tissues, and organs. Number two is um, exercise. Over-exercise, too much exercise causes oxidative stress. So we, you know, I don't know if you've heard of, uh, you know, you know these prime athletes dying, uh, getting heart attacks on the football field. You know, it's amazing. Um, medications, when we take drugs, if you ever, if you ever read the label of package insert of a prescriptive medication, one time I read one, it talks what this, what the, uh, what the medication does and five pages of side effects. What's with that? And they're, they're not normal to the body. All drugs are synthetic molecules that the body does. They don't recognize that, that, that they're foreign. Mm -hmm. And there are some other things too. There are, um, uh, sugar. Carbohydrates, too much carbohydrates causes elevation of glucose in the blood, and, and that causes all kinds of problems, diabetes, pre-diabetes, and all kinds of other, even cancer, too mm -hmm. much glucose. So you can see that there are quite a few stress. We've all been there, you know, loss of a loved one, uh, money, financial difficulties, it goes on and on, lack of sleep causes stress, and stress can 
really downplay the immune system and we don't want that. So hydrogen is able to reduce that oxidative stressor and get back into more normal operation. And there are many, many more that go on and on, but uh, that's a few. Yeah, you did a great job explaining that. So let's go into the brain. Let's go talk about the brain health. And there's a hormone called ghrelin, I understand, yeah, that's secreted yeah. after you drink the, the hydrogen. So can you explain how that works a little bit? Yeah, uh, ghrelin is, uh, is involved in quite a few things, and especially with uh, you know, appetite and hunger. Uh, uh, ghrelin can can uh, influence the what you know the amount of food that is uh, being uptake and, and metabolized, and hydrogen can actually increase that ghrelin level. And there's quite a few studies on on that also. And again, if you want to type in ghrelin and molecular hydrogen in Google or Google Scholar or PubMed, you will find a number of studies. You know, what's so interesting is um, I've been doing some inter intermittent fasting since I started reading your book here, it says talk about intermittent fasting. And so what I do is I don't eat until the evening and I've noticed I've lost like 10 pounds here just recently, but I all day long, I'm constantly bombarding my, not bombarding, I'm adding to my body more antioxidants and my hunger. I'm not hungry. Excellent. I was laughing to myself last night. I was like, I shouldn't even eat because I'm not even hungry. <laughs> and when I do eat, I tend to get hungry. I'd rather just drink water all day. <laughs> Well, you need you need you know vitamins and nutrients, yes. but uh, uh, hydrogen does help with um, managing uh, weight, and it does reduce hunger, and it helps to uh, balance your um, appetite. But don't just drink water. You need you need nutrients. You need good food, and again, sometimes no one magic bullet. You gotta. It's the whole lifestyle uh, arena. You know, good sleep exercise, nutrition, good food, um, uh, re reduction of stress, you know, stay away from too much alcohol. That's another oxidative stressor, uh, too much alcohol, maybe a little is okay, but uh, too much turns into sugar. It just metabolizes and turns into sugar. You know, you don't, we don't want too much of that. So in each of those cases, hydrogen was able to uh, balance those those particular oxidants. Awesome. Talk about cell signaling. I know that's another claim to fame for hydrogen. It does that, but what does that specifically mean? Yeah, <clears throat> cell signaling is, cells are like little communities. They actually talk to one another. They communicate just like we do. They have friends and, and they protect their neighbors and friends and they, they will tell other cells, you know, and give them signals on how to, do certain things, how to behave and how to get rid of toxins. And uh, uh, hydrogen masterfully organizes that by signaling cells to do what they, make the cells work better, so it's, you know, simply. And the cell signaling process, it, there are over 200 different biomarkers and biomolecules that are influenced by hydrogen and of course, we can't cover all of them, but just let's just say hydrogen helps cells work better. That's it, bottom line. I love in the book um, how you actually have some illustrations in here that are so fun. So the cell signaling, you know, the little H2O here and then the cell phone, that was just so cute. All right, so um, tell us a little bit more about um, some fascinating things with the research that you did. Um, that really is standing out to you on hydrogen that you think the viewers would really value? Yeah, uh, again, with uh, with aging, glucose, um, cell signaling effects, because I've done work uh, in that area too, and they're kind of simply described in the book and how to, how to find more about it. But uh, I believe that there are really profound uh, mechanisms of actions or mechanism of action is the way it works, the way hydrogen works. We, we're finding you know, more and more on the way it works. And I, I think that that's the wave of the future. Remember, 2,000 studies and more and more are being published every day. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. most of those publications are occurring in other parts of the world. In fact, mm -hmm. most places in the world, Europe, and especially Asia, it's huge in Asia. But not too much in the U.S., but it, it's growing little by little. So I guess we have to be patient and wait and, and see what happens. But we'll find out much, much more about hydrogen. 
So I know we can drink it, we can breathe it, we can soak in it, and you can put it in an IV. Is there any other therapies you can use with hydrogen? Uh, did you mention bathing in it? Yeah, soaking. Yeah, you can bathe yeah. in it. And uh, let's see, you can uh, take it inter uh, in an injection, in IP into the you know into the peritoneal of the of the body. And uh, there are many different inhalation methods, uh, and some of them are ex um, inhalation is is a claim to fame because there are uh clinics and hospitals in japan and china that are treating some very severe cardiovascular conditions by inhalation machines that are that are uh, housed in clinics there are also some wonderful and there's some videos on it if you if you want to google it videos of of hydrogen in skin care they have uh, spas where uh, you see pictures of ladies that you know, drink the hydrogen and they put uh, compresses of towels soaked in hydrogen on their, in their face. And uh, that's the treatment for skin, anti-aging skin beauty. Mm -hmm. So that, that's fascinating. And there's more and more of those health spas, you know, natural beauty spas cropping up all over, especially Japan. Yeah, I know at our, our storefront in our website as well, we have the tabs you can put on your skin. We have the tabs you can also put in your bathtub. And we also carry a, a beauty spray and we have a disinfecting spray. And so the disinfecting spray is great for like any acne or eczema or psoriasis. It tends to, to oxidize it. We really had some great things happen with that. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I've talked to quite a few people and I, I work with uh, some experts, actually the leaders in the, in the field, there are, there are three people that reviewed my uh, my book. Uh, I call it the Fast Forward with, with Tyler LeBaron, who is probably the furthermost authority on, on hydrogen. The That's the forward. The Fast Forward was Dr. Ota. He's the father of hydrogen, who mm. wrote the seminal paper in Nature's Medicine. And then the, and then the fa uh, super fast forward with Dr. Garth Nicholson, a good friend of mine, who is a Nobel Prize nominee. All, wow. ex all experts on hydrogen and wow. um, they have some wonderful things to say and they too published some phenomenal studies i think tyler himself has over 20 some publications on hydrogen wow and dr oda probably has dozens maybe a hundred or more i don't know wow incredible so what is the therapeutic dose of hydrogen in order to get these mm -hmm. results that people are looking at the studies uh, you know, it ranges. Uh, there are there's evidence in the scientific literature from 0 0.5 ppm's. Let's keep it simple with p parts per million to uh, to and over to 2.4 and even higher. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole array of that's that's in water. And then with in inhalation, that's a, that's a very high dose because you're inhaling, you know, a, a high percentage. And a lot of studies were done on inhalation devices showing spectacular results in all kinds of mostly chronically ill, chronically severe diseases, wow. you know, like cardiovascular and arthritis and Alzheimer's. And there's more and more being studied in the brain on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's also. Wow. So out of all the studies that have been done, would you say the majority of them are on inhalation or do you do, have you ever... Yeah. It varies. There's quite a quite a broad spectrum. Um, there's quite a few done in animals because you know that's the basic sign in cells. You have to first start somewhere and you want to make sure that it's safe. So cells look into the mode of action, the way it works. Then from there you go into preclinical animal studies, and there's hundreds and hundreds of animal studies showing some really good evidence. And from there, scientists extrapolate those results into humans mm -hmm. so i'd say maybe now that the, the human uh studies are increasing beyond my imagination that they're increasing and i would say maybe by now a third of all the scientific literature right now are human are in human uh, uh, conditions which is fantastic and it's growing by the month yeah we have a new product out it's the all-in-one so we can breathe it we can um, use it in the ears so it's got hydrogen going into the ears we have hydrogen in the eyes 
And then you can also put a wand in your water. So you have four different therapies all in one. Yeah, and we're excited yeah. about that. Oh, um, yeah, that's very exciting. Very, very exciting. See, that that's very innovative research. You know, if, if you can actually show evidence that it's uh, you know, producing some good results in all those in all those different modalities, that's fantastic. And I think that's the wave of the future. What you're doing is is absolutely fantastic. Congratulations. So talk about, thank you so much. I'm just very passionate about helping people. I know it helped me and it's helped thousands of people around the world. And I don't want to stop. I just want to keep getting it in people's bodies. I and mean, we all drink water. Yeah, so don't stop. Drink that. <laughs> One minute. All right. So let's talk, Bob, about the safety of hydrogen. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but is it safe? My doctor didn't recommend it. Okay. Well, uh, as far as safety concern, uh, we've written review articles, and I literally read hundreds and hundreds of studies. And we did a review article on canvassing almost 300 studies. And then now, as I mentioned, 2,000. Not one study in animals and in humans showed an adverse side effects, not one. Mm -hmm. And of all the experts and people that I talk to, it is, it's beyond my imag imagination of all the drugs and, and dietary supplements that I studied and published on my 64 publications, uh, hydrogen, it hands down the safest molecule, the safest natural treatment I've ever come across. And that's one of my other passions is to tell about talk about hydrogen, its safety, and its wondrous health effects. Mm -hmm. So for all those people out there are like, well, doesn't water have uh, hydrogen in it? I mean, what would you say to that? Yes, it does. But hydrogen in water is tightly bound with the strongest bonds in, known to chemistry. You can't break those bonds. So it's, it's H2O bound very, very tightly. So what, what we do with hydrogen is we infuse or increase the amount of hydrogen within water, making water hydrogen rich, so to speak, making it more hydrogen uh, robust. Yeah. And that's the key. That's what makes the hydrogen become released when you drink it or inhale it. Mm -hmm. then, uh, that, that's what does the, it does its magic uh, mm. with, with the hydrogen infused water. Well, I think it's kind of interesting because when I, when I was with the other company way back in probably 2009, 2010, maybe a little after that, when we first got involved, it was all about the alkalinity of the water. Everyone's like, oh, it's alkaline water. Cancer can't live in alkaline water. This is it. It's what it got to take. And then we showed the ORP meter, but we didn't really talk much about that giving a result. And so it wasn't until later when, you know, we started thinking, you know what, um, there's some research coming out here on this hydrogen. And I think this machine might make some hydrogen. And so sure enough, we found out it did make hydrogen. Yes. Unfortunately, because it also made alkaline, it made it extremely hard to maintain the units to make the hydrogen. That's or right. Deep clean it once a year, change the filter all the time. You got to mm -hmm. clean it every two weeks. And so it just got to be somewhat of a hassle. And so now, obviously, we just sell hydrogen water with no alkaline, um, alkalinity to it. But what do you know about the, the research that's been done on alkaline? Is there any research that you found out there on alkaline water? Well, um, I think you pretty much uh, capsulized everything. Um, in order for uh, the alkaline water to really, to me, this is my personal opinion, and, the, and I think... Uh, uh, gentlemen like uh, Tyler LeBaron and Dr. Uh, Shigeo Ota will agree that uh, these electrolytic devices and they really need to be maintained very thoroughly and kept up or else it disrupts the amount of hydrogen that's being uh, produced. Now we know that uh, and I think Tyler did a study he looked at the amounts of hydrogen in alkaline water and, and verified that a lot of the clinical results that were seen, which the, the real, there they are, were based on the hydrogen, not so much alkalinity, alkalinity, because the body has a phenomenal way of, of buffering its own system. Like for example, if you drink alkaline water, as soon as it gets in the stomach, it's pretty much turned into neutral or acid because the pH of the stomach is is three and uh, uh, 
by by neutralizing the the alkalinity, the alkaline does not really play that big of a role. So we feel, the scientists feel, that it's really the hydrogen that, that's doing the job. That's really having the the benefits of alkaline water. Mm -hmm. And would you say over time, if you're drinking alkaline water for a long amount of time, I mean, is that considered like a burden on the body because it is quite alkaline going in, and then your body has to work harder to, you know, bring that down to meet the stomach acid? Or have you researched that at all? Well. I don't think it's burdening the body. I think the body automatically adjusts it, adjusts it right away. As soon as it hits the stomach, it's it's neutralized. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, say you have a, a container of pH, uh, say nine, which is very, very alkaline, alkaline. If you put just a few drops of lemon juice, it will it will neutralize that uh, alkalinity within seconds. Mm -hmm. that's just the way it is that's chemistry basic chemistry so it really doesn't burden the body i would say maybe there's some effect in the, the very um you know uh, the j genome or the the very where the the stomach meets the, the 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 intestines in that area maybe there's some effect there but but i don't know if there's it's that dramatic mm -hmm. um so right. i would say it's count it's hydrogen rich uh, water. Back to your book again. Structured it's water. So I just, I just, structured, structured water. water. <laughs> yes. It's so extremely easy to read. You know, it's it's put in a way, you're so gifted at that. You really are about just breaking things down, make it easy for everybody. Because if we can take this high science, like if you go to the Molecular Hydrogen Institute, it's amazing, but you almost have to be a scientist in order to read through it. And so what you've done is you've taken all the knowledge and you've broken it down so anybody can understand it. And I think it's that once we get to this level that everyone's going to be able to understand it. And once you can understand it, it makes sense. Then more people are going to get involved in it and more people get healthy because of it. And so your book is really a catalyst to helping that because it's giving people understanding is giving them knowledge. And so all of our team, uh, we also have an affiliate aspect to our program as well. All of our team gets a getting started pack and this is included. We go through the training and they they get to read your book and they're all absolutely in love with your book. Oh, great. That's music to my ears. Thank you. Yes. And so you can also, those of you that are watching, you can find that book on our website. We'll put a link right down here at the bottom. Just click that link and you can get access to the, to it as well. I know I talked to you the other day. I said, are you going to make a, uh, like a um, audio of this? Because it's so good. Like I just love to just listen to it all the time. Is that coming soon in the future? Yes, I plan to do that. Uh, not right now, but maybe uh, like a few months from now or a month. And I also want to do uh, a uh, uh, not only an audio book, but a, a digital copy of the book and a few other things. And I also want to uh, break out little sections and I like little, little small educational videos, you know, one or two minutes. So you can get just morsels of information. Very simple. I want to make it fun and easy to understand. I want to use cartoons. I want to use animation. I want to use, uh, I, I'm an expert in time-lapse micro photography. That's photography that is done through a microscope, grew, grew little cell cultures and put them on the stage of a microscope, took cameras and did time-lapse. You know, you, you see flowers opening, you know, in, in seconds, it takes days. That's time-lapse photography. Yeah. Like I've done many different types of cell uh, observations and, and captured cells, you know, walking over and killing cancer cells, you know, immune cells. I've seen, I captured these engulfing cells, macrophages, eating bacteria and digesting them. Mm -hmm. Cytotoxic T cells, killing cells that are infected with viruses. Mm -hmm. Really interesting stuff that I like to edit out and, and make little videos so people can appreciate the understanding of what happens inside their own body. Remember, cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, organs make up systems, systems make up the entire body. So let's look at the cell, the basic unit of life. Absolutely. And I think another main benefit to the hydrogen as well is it's, it's a molecule. It's not, it's not like um, any other antioxidant out there and that you have to digest it. It's absorbed. And so if you're digesting, you know, broccoli and carrots and all these other things, it's going to leave behind a waste in the body. That's another free radical. Am I correct? Yes, absolutely. 
And so as the hydrogen goes in, it finds the toxin and it turns it into water. And so or, there's nothing to With the hydroxylate, yeah. Yeah. It, it also quenches some other free radicals, not always turning them into water, but it it neutralizes their effect. That means it renders them harmless. Mm -hmm. So not only does it go after the most toxic, the OH is what you you said, the OH hydroxyl, That's turns out into water. And then the other ones, it just basically neutralizes them and says, hey, you're you're fine. You're not harmless anymore. Exactly. Wow, yep. isn't that incredible? And how long does yeah, it take? You're becoming a scientist. I'm becoming you because I'm reading <laughs> your book. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to really penetrate through my subconscious mind. It's great. So how long does the hydrogen give you an effect in the body once you drink it? Well, uh, it, it varies. And, and uh, Dr. Oda says that there, uh, around 20 minutes, you can get a full uh, effect of, this, this is drinking the hydrogen. Remember, if you inhale it, you get 100% right away. It's into, into your blood immediately. But when you drink it, it takes maybe 10 to 20 minutes and it goes through all of the tissues and organs and almost every every organ in your body, including the brain, right? So it stays there sometimes for about 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And it does it has these effects, cell signaling and uh, it's antioxidant effects. And remember, it it increases the body's own natural antioxidant, which is incredible. So it has this power over a 24-hour period. So the more you take in and keep on taking, if you take it in every day, then you're keeping that level of cell signaling of good health benefits. You're keeping that to a to a high degree of efficacy or effectiveness so we want to just keep on taking it more and more and more and since you can't take too much of it it's no no problem no, no absolutely there's no you cannot take too much i mean maybe if you had 100 percent, it could be it, it could be explosive if you light a match to it but no one really has that high of a, a amount that's not known uh but you know that's the only thing but if you Purchase a good device that's checked out and make you and, and make sure that it's safe and checked thoroughly, then you're okay. Absolutely. And so when you do take the hydrogen, these different pathways of your body, is it hitting your cells differently or is it all being absorbed the same? Well, that's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it it penetrates all kinds of cells. It probably it, when you drink it, it probably goes through the stomach cells first and then then it'll spread out to uh, the peripheral blood system, goes to cells in, in the uh, circulating immune cells, then goes into tissues and organs. So it probably gravitates pretty rapidly in say 10 to 20 minutes. It's probably totally saturated. Hmm. Uh, and that that's the, the maximum time. And then it does stay, its effects work over a 24 hour period. Wow. You know, I've noticed with our clients that come in, their energy is the first thing that they noticed. And then they also notice sleeping patterns and they start noticing their skin changes. But something like you've studied maybe on diabetes, like how long does it typically take for the results to start coming through? Well, in, in the uh, clinical studies, I've done uh, basic mole uh, molecular biology and cell biology, but in clinical studies, there's uh, some results that are seen within a month, uh, looking at the reduction of symptoms, the reduction of these uh, um, bad you know, glucose and uh, uh, fasting insulin levels and some other factors that are lessened because of the diabetic uh, effects. And the benefits are, you know, occur anywhere from weeks to months. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Another thing we really hit home with our water store and just helping people around the world is we got to start with clean water. So there's lots of options out there on different portable containers, different water machines, but we must start with clean water because if it's not clean, whatever toxicity you have going in there is also getting into your water, which is then causing more free radical damage. And most of us are not aware that our tap water contains almost 60,000 chemicals. Oh yeah. That's scary. Crazy. And then <laughs> the EPA is who regulates all of our water. And they're only looking for around 90 chemicals out of the 60,000. Yeah. 
And so we actually have a whole house water system that we, that we install, goes right to their main water, delivers fresh clean water throughout their whole home. There's no maintenance, there's no cleaning to it. It just sets there for 10 to 15 years. We absolutely nice. love it. And then we nice. also have a um, pre-filter that goes before our machines that comes with it. That's the same exact media that's in our whole house, also in the smaller one. So we make sure we're getting fresh, clean water into that as well. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, Bob, so much for your time. I really appreciate you so much. So if you have not purchased his book already, make sure you order this. You know, holidays is coming up too. These make great gifts. Um, if you know someone that's got any kind of health issues, he breaks it down step by step. These are the different things. And it's almost like it's too good to be true, Bob. Honestly, it's like really hydrogen is all these things. But you say these are the studies that prove. And so it's really a phenomenal thing that we have here. And I believe we're at the square one here. And over the next 10 to 15 years, once we really start getting the word out, everybody is going to know about hydrogen water. Everyone's going to have a hydrogen water bottle. Everyone's going to have one at their home. There's just going to be a big awareness. And so that's what I'm very excited about for the future. Yeah. You know, one comment, uh, you said it's too good to be true. I felt the same way when I first started getting, uh, looking into hydrogen. But then when I read study after study and did a review article of hundreds of studies, and now it's continuing 2,000 studies later. I mean, how could that be, you know, erroneous when you see it over and over by some of the top scientists in the world, mm -hmm. the most reputable peer-reviewed journals, mm -hmm. 2,000 studies. So you're right, too good to be true. But that's one of the reasons I wrote about it, because I had to convince myself that, yeah. that, that, that it is true. <laughs> and it's good for pets as well. Yeah. Babies, anybody, any, it's no harm whatsoever, because your body makes hydrogen, correct? Yes. Yeah. In the intestines, it's made by the good bacteria. Mm. And so um, the fiber, when you eat fiber, breaking it down to make that hydrogen gas as well, that also increases your hydrogen naturally, if you wanted to. Yes. The fiber works as a, a, a prebiotic to the probiotics that are in the, in the intestine, mm -hmm. produces hydrogen, which is to a certain level. But what we want to do is add more hydrogen because it's not enough. I mean, it, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. And we utilize it. But by infusing more hydrogen into the system through inhalation or tablets or drinking or water, then we're, you know, reinforcing the benefits, mm -hmm. increasing the benefits. Awesome. 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 Well, thank you so much for your time. And until we see all of you, be happy, be healthy and be free. Thanks again, Bob, for being here with us today. Oh, my, I'm great, grateful for being on. Thank you very much. You're welcome.